Okay, being on black here, folks, and basically we're going to step here. I started at 4 something and we're at 450 now. And you're going to see the super giants as they come up here. We've got the super giants coming up on the horizon and the sun. But it's the super giants and the sun. And you will see that here we have the super giants. Okay, there's your super giants. Now, here is what we are getting for a sun right now. This should be our sun, or at least that's what we're getting uh, 360 degrees around the, the world. Okay, and as you see, the super giants, and basically down here at South Pole, Antarctic, Attica Bay, camera, you're going to realize the super giants exist, and we have way more than one sun. And as you see, our sun that we know to be giving us our 24 7 uh, sunshine on Earth right now, it would be this here sun here. Now you can see that the super giants exist along the horizon. Uh, and you can see and pretty much know. And also, you have to realize that we also have a star, and that the sun that we know of is a star. Uh, can we guarantee that this is the sun we've been having? Quite possibly, take your wild guess. Because now, as we go ahead and we will go ahead and step again forward, okay? You got, you have, I'll go back one more time. Well, actually, don't need to. But because now we're going forward. Now, watch right here. And as you see, and like I showed you the super giants, folks, so we have way more than one sun, okay? You see the, the daylight, a sun, uh, a scope, okay, and not a kaleidoscope because basically we have a bunch of suns, okay? And as you see, there's another sun over here to the right, okay? And I'm backing up now and making you realize that this is what I'm actually showing you is the truth, okay? Now, as we step forward, the super giants come up together with the sun and the super giants main sequence. Then whatever we have for a sun and also bleed starts to come through the atmosphere of that star there. And these are all stars, no matter what. And you can see another huge one over there. And I showed you, watch my yesterday's videos, and here you go there. Okay. And no, I don't cut and splice any videos. And there you go across the top. And I showed you the super giants, okay? We get separation, folks. There's certain ways Mother Nature shows us separation. It shows that there's way more than one sun, i.e. you get bleed here, you get bleed here, you get bleed all along here. Now, only certain amount of suns get to glow down on Earth every day, thank God. Now, if we get more than one, which we are getting a lot of heat in certain areas of the world, uh, watch your temperatures today in North America. As a matter of fact, I'll probably at the end put the temperatures in here. So as we go through, we get like a third sun, right? Correct? I mean, are you following me along here? Because I'll play this movie too, and you can watch the times, and it all works. It's all there. And as that sun moves away, and like I say, all the suns, or at least the sun that we know that we have that gives light to Earth, spirals through space. And also, Earth spirals through space in a tight spiral, very tight spiral. And we move along at 60, I'm backing up now. But let me, let's go ahead and, and realize that it will go ahead and show the sun up. Okay. There you go. Okay. And as you can see on the clock time here, we got 9.15 a.m. Okay. Now, yes, they get 23 to 24 hours of daylight down there. And we want to thank the German scientists for the beautiful reality and the truth. Okay, and basically, I don't know if I'll hit start and let that play, but basically you, what you said, we're backing up now, folks, and what you've seen happen was what actually happens, and everything changes with every orbit and every alignment, and as you see, that might even be a shuffle of two stars right there, okay, because as I back up, that little one rotates 3D with that one. And then it looks larger, and there you go, and then you get bam, all right. And that's all live footage. I mean, this is all was all live footage when it was shot. And there's way more than one sun, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's not the first time Bino has showed you this. It's just the idea that nature and nature has basically shown us the truth. And the nature-loving scientists from Neomar Station have showed us the supergiants. 
our son, and way more than one son. And we know that the sun spirals through space, but you also know, no matter what, as I back this up a little bit, you know that they, we have suns that spiral through space. They spiral, bam, and there's way more than one sun, as you see here and here, and as you see the supergiants all along the horizon and also up here. And know that little flashlight bulb, which is not, it's huge, it's the sun. Whichever one we are getting right now, they're huge. And they're huger than the sun by a massive amount. And there's a nice interesting too, a dark object there. So we have a dead sun star or a dying sun star in between there and the sun and the supergiants. And you get a massive shot of that right there. But you cannot miss that. And that is not, I do not believe, the meatball. But then again, there is possibility that could be the meatball. But the idea that there is way more than one meatball. There are huge masses out there in space. And yes, this is a structure, I think, on or an iceberg. I believe that's a structure or an iceberg there. That dark spot right there. Okay. But everything else is actually what you see. And there is a shot of an ominous dark object between layers of sun. So basically there's a dying sun star in there somewhere. Now could that be our actual sun and the idea we're getting replaced with another one and then it'll go and get refueled because it'll get hot by getting up against a huger sun. The idea that if you watched my video yesterday, let me go to that. Yeah, this is my video yesterday. Go watch it and you'll see this is pretty much and these are magnified two times and I think these are this one might be five times and two times and that's Rigel Cantaris B right there and A and the sun and the Rigel Cantaris A and B are right here and the sun is right there. Okay, and there is Rigel. That's how huge Rigel is. So the idea that our sun that we did know to be looked at all the time and now it's the shell game and it goes back and gets refueled by these huge suns and will catch fire again. We do not know for positively sure, but we do know for a fact that Bino shows you the truth as much as I possibly can. And here is my video on that one yesterday. So go look at some super giants and they're not going to show you this on TV, folks. Okay. So either one of the, you know, X planets, and there's many masses in space, ladies and gentlemen, the meatball, so forth and so on, but there is a dark mass right there, okay? Forget the structure or the iceberg right there. Forget that, okay? This is a roundish, and it looks like that it, there's a possibility that it could be more than one, okay, in lined in a row, okay? And we can see that it's more dead, uh, cooler, than the other supergiants and the suns. So we step, and then you have the supergiants, that object. So basically you need to keep in mind that that basically is in front of the sun and the supergiants. That may actually be our exoplanet, our brown dwarf. Basically is a dying sun, okay? Cooler, by how much, we don't know yet. Okay, and the sun is very bright, and then the idea that this is below Earth, and you can view it at Antarctica. Uh, whether you can see it in the night sky high, I'm not sure. We so now we need all of our astronomers and astrologers to start being honest on the Internet and everything like that. And everybody uh, ear to ear, mouth to mouth, door to door, uh, quietly to Bino, and give us coordinates on this object, and can we match this up to be in the meatball? And actually that's good for everybody, even if it's alive for a while, <laughs> because it, it uh, makes everybody relax. Okay, and as you can see, there's darkness also over here, okay, and that's the sun and the supergiants, so there may be way more than one right there together in front of each other in sequence. Like we know that the sun and the supergiants go to all that information and you research the sun and the supergiants. They exist. Scientifically exist. Or scientists are not going to hide it, and if they start hiding it, then you know that you basically have too much overlord control on science and data for human consumption. Okay, so that object's there. Okay, that object on Earth is there, whatever that is, if that's an iceberg or not. I do believe that's an iceberg. Or it could be something, uh, I haven't seen this footage lately of the south camera, but basically I believe that's just an iceberg. Yep, it's an iceberg. That's your sun that we are getting now, or at least one of them.
and it spirals through space. As you've seen, it just spiral there. I just showed you it spiral. Okay, and there's the sun up. Now let's look at another shot. And I can't guarantee that they're not messing with us here on this, but it's not, I do not believe it's the scientists there, either that or they're getting ordered to do this. But anyway, at that time, an hour there, and basically I can blow this up a little bit. We'll go to like 150. I'm not squinch tune too much. There you go. So that is not the front porch light. And as you see, a step, and there you go, and you can see. And I go back and forward there, okay? So at exactly that time, it's like 510. So that's basically that sun, more than likely, that, that matches up, because that's happened at 510. Okay, this is to the south, what beamed on to that building, okay, folks? And that's just an iceberg there. So at 510, exactly, you can see there, and I'll even blow it up so you can see that clock better. You, should be, you can tell right there, but I'll even blow this up so you can see on the photo that it's there. There you go, 510 UTC. And there is a brown dwarf or a dying star or stars, possibly one, two, or three. Take your pick, and even possibly four, as you see a ring there. It also could be just the one. We're not really going to know. And the idea that it could be made more than that one, because you also see darkness over here and here, and that is the supergiants and the sun coming up. Okay? So at 510, that's exactly what burst did. Not this, because this is at 535. And not this, not this. That 510, when that darkness is, that's what illuminated. And more than likely, po quite possibly, from one of these up high is what illuminated on the side of that. Because 510 UTC exactly is what illuminated that on the side of the building, folks. Okay? And you also see you got sun up here or star... Either that or whatever is up in the sky is getting so illuminated by the sun and the supergiants that that's there. So, and as you see, that goes across the sky here, too. So this stuff is out ahead of what we see in the south, okay? So we got separation, folks, of this stuff, okay? And we want to thank uh, Nehemiah Station and all the scientists down there for keep giving us these beautiful shots. And... You can see that go across the sky. So there's a star or a ray of sunlight from a star somewhere way out in space. And as we see that still come across the sky. And you also see that there. Because this is north. That other shot was from the south. So there are lots of suns out there, folks. Because this is down on the bottom of the Earth, Antarctica. Okay? There you go. Like I say, they spiral around, and then you get 920, and that'll match. And what that's going to match up with is going to be 920. We don't get 920, which is weird on the time clock. You have 910, and then I'll step, and there you go. Okay, 920 on this clock here. 915 on the screen on the movie, and 920 here. So five minutes of a nice blast of that sun coming up, which is basically this sun here. Okay? And as you've seen, that, that basically came over up high to the north, okay, as you see. So way more than one sun, way more than two suns, way more than three suns, way more than four suns. There's a hundred and one suns in, in supergiants, main sequence, ladies and gentlemen, four to 78 times the size of the sun, there's a hundred of them, okay? And there's 200 known stars in the supergiants main sequence, okay? There's about 100 of them that are dying out that are lower than what the normal sun that we know that it gives us sunlight and that we have magnetically follow all the time Earth in the rotation through space. And we will get 920. And there's 920, folks. Lots of suns, folks. And they spiral through space. And so does Earth and our magnetosphere. And we go here and we see what you got for sun. And that was your moon up to the right high to begin with. I'm just going to keep scrolling down here. And there's your latest. And then there's our North Pole. A little off to this direction, the side of North America right now. And then also we have Supervisor Control and Data Acquisition because I didn't roll that down that fast. We just deal with it real fast. We won't waste your time cutting. And there's CME action. And there's your ass end hanging out real bad. And I know what I'm talking about because my eyes don't lie. And you see that, that signature mark there. And you see also the signature mark there. 
Trek Amulet, Tattooing Sun, and we know it. More later.